ஐ வெல்கம் எவ்ரி ஒன் டு ஒரு யூடியூப் சேனல் ஏ யூக்ரி ஆர்கானிக்ஸ் ரீசெண்ட்லி சம் ஆஃப் அவர் சேனல் சப்ஸ்கிரைபர்ஸ் கிவன் ஏ கமெண்ட் டு கிவ் வீடியோ அபவுட் டிஎன்ஐயு பிஜி அட்மிஷன் வில் சி இன் டீப் அபவுட் டிஎன்ஐயு பிஜி அட்மிஷன் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டீப் இன் டு திஸ் வீடியோ இஃப் யூர் நியூ டு அவர் சேனல் யூ கேன் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அவர் சேனல் யூ கேன் ஷேர் அவர் சேனல் வித் யுவர் friends also with regard to this tnau pg admission you may got this provisional admission card so this is the provisional admission card on 30th october 2024 so in that they mentioned all the subjects everything so that is okay and they have mentioned the allotted campus also subject and the allotted campus everything i am pleased to inform that you have been provisionally selected for admission subject to verification of original mark sheets and other documents so here they mentioned you have been selected for this admission but uh, it has to be verified so if it is verified fed only it will be confirmed otherwise until verification it is not confirm in tnau masters program 2024 to 25 under uh, regular mode okay regular mode through tnau pg entrance examination 2024 to 25 the decision on allotment of campus by the university is final so here they have mentioned this campus because tnau is having msc at different places so here they have mentioned this campus also some of you may have got madurai campus or some other campuses also so this is the final they will not change this one under regular mode means in agriculture msc is only under regular so then another thing is you are requested to remit non refundable deposit of 10000 rupees okay you have to pay this 10000 rupees to secure admission on or before 6 11 2024 so before 6 11 2024 that is coming wednesday you have to pay this 10000 rupees so that is the seat acceptance fees as you are paying for uh, icer counseling no similarly you have to pay for this tna also your admission if not your uh, admission stands cancel so if you are failing to pay this 10000 rupee your admission will not be given so it is cancelled so if you have got a seat in any other universities and also simultaneously in tnau so whether to decide to join in tnau or through icer or any other university is depend on you okay so but uh, my suggestion from my side or from our team side is if you want to get exposure in any other state then you can go for the seat at any other university so it will be better it will give a great exposure to you okay the amount paid will be adjusted with the regular fees at the time of physical verification of certificates and admission so the amount that you are paying this 10000 rupees no this will be adjusted from the total fees okay the following original documents and two sets of photocopies must be surrendered at the time of admission so that is uh, you have to go to admission. mission on 14th 11 2024 this is children's day actually last year also during children's day they made uh, some announcement i don't know which one last year also i m- mentioned this on children's day only okay i don't know which is that one okay the signed provision admission card so this is that signed provisional admission card what document i am reading now no this is that provisional admission card here they have mentioned provisional admission card so this is that provisional admission card next is uh, you have to take that one next is ug degree certificate or provisional certificate degree certificate means that is convocation you may not got uh, now but a provisional degree certificate it will be called by the name pdc the date of issue of provisional Uh, certificate should not be later than 13 4 2024 so you should have got your pdc before this date okay before 13 4 20 13 11 2024 next is tc or transcript card of ug degree ogp as per eligibility criteria so you should have got enough ogp that they may have mentioned in their counseling brochure only then mark list so you have should have got that individual semester mark sheet or consolidated mark sheet or transcript to card so that one next is transfer or migration certificate if you are having migration certificate no need to give transfer certificate so if you are from any other state they may ask for migration certificate so you bring migration certificate that will be better okay if you are from uh, tamil nadu only uh, if you have studied from any other university of tamil nadu or even in tnau tc is enough no need to get migration certificate or if you are having you can give okay next is contact certificate from the institute law studied if not mentioned in T- uh, tc okay uh, in tc they will mention the contact if they have not mentioned it in uh, tc you can get this contact certificate separately from the institution that is you can get from your principal or dean only next is permanent community certificate for verification which will be written so that is uh, your community certificate it will be permanent only evidence for mother's name so this they have asked if you are in tamil nadu then uh, sure your ration card will be having your mother's name so that is enough or else your uh, 10th standard mark sheet so some of the state may have mother's name in 10th standard certificate or any identity proof so in that uh, your mother's name should be mentioned so that will be okay okay because uh, in most of the id proof only father's name will be mentioned but the, here they are asking mother's name so mother's name may be present in birth certificate or in uh, 10th standard mark sheet or in um, 
some other documents such as ration card okay two stamp size color photographs so you take this good photograph you don't take selfie photographs like that so you should take the photo photo should be very important they should not scold you for um, getting some not good photos okay a copy of letter of evidence for award of payment or scholarship or fellowship if any so this point is uh, important many have asked a doubt regarding this so for example you asked for uh, with regard to phd i am telling for phd during your msc only you may have qualified this uh, UGC net GRF okay next DBT fellowship so like that many fellowships are there CSIR is there so like that you may got many uh, fellowship for doing PhD only so, okay so this fellowship if you join at any university in PhD so you will get fellowship so for that they from this UGC or DBT or CSIR like that any that authority or any organization they would have given your allotment letter or um, award okay that is award letter so that award letter they are asking similarly for joining msc if you have qualified for any fellowships or any scholarship so like that recently also we have uploaded some video for reliance fellowship or that uh, some other fellowships also we uploaded so if you have got some other fellowships you can get that evidence or award letter so that is what they have mentioned in this i point okay next is j point that is e receipt of the payment so how to do the payment they have mentioned in this uh, document you may have received this through mail so you can follow the steps given in this document if you are having any doubt with regard to this payment you can directly call tnu help desk only and this is the important thing sufficient copies of all original documents should be kept by the candidates before surrendering the originals you don't take only these documents you also take all other documents such as 10th standard mark sheet 12th standard mark sheet those documents and all so it will also be if they ask you have to show those things and all okay originals will not be issued before completion of the course and the candidate discontinues uh, of the course permanently okay until you discontinue or um, you complete the course they will not give you back this original documents so you have to take the sufficient amount of xerox copy and you scan the document and you keep the color disk scanned copy also that is very important it may be very useful to you for applying any fellowship or any other job uh, like that so if tnpsa exams comes that and all it will be very useful it is very mandatory so you please keep in mind that one next is a fee structure for master's program so here they have mentioned this a category wise for oc bc bcm mbc dnc and scst sca category so here the total that first semester examination so here uh, 46,490 first year first sem first year second sem 23,835 and the second year first sem second year second sem so additionally if you are from the self supporting scheme you have to pay this 25,000 rupees extra for each semester okay that is what they have mentioned there is no self supporting program for SCST SCA candidates okay so here uh, they have mentioned uh, fees as also and the total fees is also comparatively less okay special fees this is for MSc, MBA, MTech students 1750 rupees. Next is online payment at the time of admission. While going for the admission, you have to pay this uh, rupees 19,105 for this general category and um, SC, ST, and uh, SC, ST category 15,445 rupees. Okay including this one time payment only this semester fees okay 46,490 so you should not get confusion so here also one time payment 15,455 and uh, total fees is 37,890 so you you some of you may be thinking that separately we need to pay this 46,490 and 19,105 it's not like that both are included in this 46,490 only okay here next um, you may pay the prescribed semester fees online on 14 11 2024 after adjusting the admission confirmation fees of 10,000 so after document verification only you can pay the remaining amount okay next is uh, please note that registration for the first semester and commences of the classes start on 15th 11 2024 okay so the first semester class will be started on 15th 11 candidates who discontinue after admission are not eligible for refund of fees except the cash and deposit money under uh, that is uh, one time payment okay as per the tniu pg rules and regulation they will not uh, refund amount all communications will be through email okay hostel fees you have to pay this 10,000 rupees 500 uh, for the hostelers and if you are desk color again you have to pay this 1200 rupees even if you are the desk color after verification of the documents next is uh, 
if you are not producing any of the above documents at the time of admission you will your selection will be cancelled okay so that's only i am telling not only the document for they have mentioned uh, there so you take your 10th standard and 12th standard mark sheets also so from this you may be clear that what are the documents you have to produce uh, and uh, how to proceed for tniu pg admission all the best thank you